hello everyone welcome back here in this new video tutorial today we are going to learn how to use the group by function in microsoft excel group by function is basically used for doing different calculation by grouping the items here i have a data of sales and here i need to calculate the customer wise total sales value because in this data the customer name are repeating multiple times my requirement here is to calculate the total sales value of every single customer here in this case i can use the group by function here because i want to create a group of the customer and then calculate the total sales value for this customer so let's use the group by function here press equal to then type here group by function open the bracket in the row field we have to select the customer name range from the source data select from the beginning to the end then give a comma in the values we have to select the range where our value is given we want here the total sales value so select the sales value range in the source data then give a comma now here in the function we have to select the calculation here we are going to get the total so we need to choose some function if you want to get average then you have to choose average and here you see other calculation option also you can choose any one that you require here i am choosing the sum function double click on the sum function then give a comma then here in the field header we have to choose no here in this case because i have already return the field header here so i will choose no here double click on the no option then give a comma in the total depth we have multiple option here if i want to calculate the grand total as well here then i can choose this grand total if i want grand total and sub total then i can choose this here in this case i am going to choose this grand total then give a comma in the sort order if you want to sort the customer name in ascending or descending order then you can provide here the sort order i am giving here one which means the ascending order if you want a descending order then you have to give minus one here then give a comma this filter array is not required here so i am leaving this blank now simply close the bracket then press enter and here you see the customer wise total sales value is calculated first the customer name are grouped here then based on the group the total is calculated here so this is the use of group by function in microsoft excel this was for today's video if you want to learn more please visit the video page in my channel where you can find different video tutorials thank you very much for watching this we will again meet on next video tutorial.